Hi, welcome back to making a crooking plywood. We're ready for gluing up now. What I've done is masked off the head because the last thing you want is epoxy resin all over your nice shiny head. And this has had about six coats of um, varnish on. So the first thing we're going to do is um, glue the dog in. And then once that's set, it's out of the way. We're not going to knock it or anything. We can carry on with the stick. Uh, we've got some nice let's say indentations, some holes in there to match uh, those there. So we're going to give um, the glue process uh, a chance of uh, being permanent. So I'm going to mix my glue up and we'll be right back. Right, we've glued the dog in. Uh, we've removed the, um, the masking tape because we don't want that being glued to the stick. So while the, uh, the glue is still, um, let's say, pliant, we can remove that. We'll leave the rest on so uh, once we start gluing the stick in we don't get any um, glue on our gloves and transfer it to um, the polished surface. So we're going to leave this now. Um, this will be left a few hours and uh, we'll come back to that and then uh, we're going to do the stick and um, the collar. So again I've masked off this area here anywhere I might be handling, wiping spreading the glue. Um, I don't want it on the varnish. Um, I'd rather have it on the tape and keep everything clean. So that's all for now folks. We'll see you once the glue's dry. Thank you. Right, welcome back. You see we've um, totally glued up now. We've wiped all the excess off and uh, we've all got gloves on. I'm going to whip these off and remove the uh, masking before uh, anything starts to set too much. Now this just keeps everything nice and clean. And especially if you've been working on ram's horn, a buffalo horn and you've got everything nice and shiny, uh, using a lot of polishing and buffing. And the last thing you want is um, epoxy on, uh, on your horn. So it's well worth just masking up. Let's put this in the vise. Now we come to the tricky bit because there's an awful lot of tape on this and it's been put on randomly. So the main thing is to uh, just remove it from around the, uh, the joint. All the other tape that's been put on in areas that we haven't glued can come off at a later date but uh, probably best taking off as soon as you can and whether the glue will and the tape will cure in any way so and this epoxy is very good it starts hardening very very quickly so we shouldn't be disturbing anything I'll leave this overnight now and uh, see how things have uh, worked out in the morning. I 
I have a feeling that decorator's tape may not be quite as sticky as this. There we go. So, there we go. We're going to stand that in a corner now and uh, let it dry overnight. One last push. And uh, there we go, the finished article. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of uh, videos. If you do like them, please subscribe. Uh, watch out for more videos. There's uh, plenty of things I want to do and um, they may be of interest to you. So thank you for watching and uh, good stick making. Bye bye.